Hey everyone, welcome to The Nest. Today we're doing something a little different. So much to Kelly's chagrin, I have got the Oculus Quest 2 just released two days ago. So actually, I'm going to take it back. I think it was just released yesterday. So anyway, we got this guy hot off the press and we're going to do an unboxing. So this is the 64 gigabyte and I got it off of Amazon for $2.99 and basically what it comes with, it says inside box a VR headset, two touch controllers, AA batteries, power adapter, glasses, spacer, and a charging cable. So I'm kind of upgrading because I got a Samsung, Samsung Ultra S20 5G and that's got a 7 inch screen which does not fit my old Oculus goggles. So this is an all-in-one. You don't need a phone to, um, to use this. And basically, you could get it also with 256 gig of storage for, I believe that was $400. So let's see what we have here. A decent box. Facebook is the maker of this. Let me just see how we're supposed to get this out of here. And then, as you can see, here's what we got. So we got a nice little display of things. Looks like you've got your wrist controller. Wrist controller number two for right and left. Then we have the goggles. So the goggles are pretty, actually pretty compact here. Are they heavy? No, they're not heavy at all. Actually, I'm quite surprised. So as you can see, the inside, they're very similar. Here's your glass spacer if you wear glasses like me or readers. My assumption will be that in this box will be your AA batteries, and any other accessories. What I didn't get was the cable to connect to the PC so you could get faster gaming experience off your PC. So this is all wireless with its instruction settings here. You've got a plug for your cable. Kelly's scooting on in here to do a little bit of a comparison to the old Samsung goggles, which I think were made by Oculus, as well as the remote control that came with that. So what you typically did with this is you put your phone inside of here and you snap it in and then it connects to the to the thing. So it was kind of a pain before because you needed your phone. And then of course you use this through Bluetooth to control. With this here, if you look, this is much more compact. Oh yeah, so, the cushion looks. Yeah, much much bit much difference like the because it's all in one. And then you have the controls on the headset. What you do have here is, um, I believe that you have, i take this off of here. You do have some connections for your charging. And then you have a connection so you can connect it to the PC. And I believe you could also put your 3.5 millimeter jack headphones in here as well, somewhere. So I just wanted to give you that comparison. So how old is this? That is probably maybe three to four years old. Oh, okay. So, so they've come uh, a long way. Yeah. And if you've never tried virtual reality, it's really good. Simple. Um, Just put it on. Yep. And then you'd snap your phone in. Now these goggles are still available and you can you could pick up good goggles from anywhere from twenty five to fifty bucks. So uh, it's actually you get to experience virtual reality very, very economically. So what do, what, do, what do you get out of virtual reality? Gaming's huge because you feel like you're right in the game. Um, your movies, so when you watch movies that are in 360 virtual reality mode, um, that's very cool. And um, surfing the internet, interactive um, um, applications like Facebook, um, which I'm curious to see what it's like because Facebook actually produces the Oculus. Yeah. So here's where I'm cranking up the unit and basically it was pretty much charged and all I had to do is it went through a bunch of system updates which probably took about 
five or six minutes to do. With this unit, games that came with it were Star Wars, The Climb 2, Jurassic World, Aftermath, Horizon, Population 1, and Beat Saver. Look at just scenes of mountains and waterfalls. Alright guys, so I got my area set up here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into this game that I have called the Beat. And let's see, we are going to go over to right here. <clears throat> Ooh, let's go fishing. Here, let's see, you got to hold the trigger down. Oh, here we go. Oh. Oh, I think we got one. Oh, maybe not. Here we go. So you could tell us. Oh, I got to pull up earlier. I think we'll... Let's try to reel this in a little bit. Now the action's in. I think I might have lost my worm. But anyway guys, this will give you the idea of some of the stuff that you could do here. Oh, here we go. Here we go guys. I am playing around with this thing. I'm bringing this right in. We need some... Po oh, fish broke loose. Alright guys, but you get the idea. Fun game, you can go fishing with never having to leave the house. And then we just go right back in here. Oh. And we stop recording. Actually, let's keep recording and let's exit out of here. Quit. And then as you can see, it's loading right back into the home. So what I failed to do here is actually do a circle, turn in a circle so you could see the full 360 right, guys, degree view. This is a good first start, and then we'll come back with some other good games. <laughs> okay, I think I got it now. Hallelujah. Oh, too far. I missed. 